gamers today is the time when we do everything you need to know about Delhi I finished the other ones a long time ago and then there was obviously gonna be big Delhi changes with the elephants and all that so I wanted to wait for this one and we're finally here so this is gonna be I've done these for eight other sieves I only have not done Delhi and China which I will be doing China as well and in this video I'm going to be talking about basically all the, you know, just explaining Delhi in a very basic way and then also giving you guys some, you know, tips or advices you might have not known as Delhi, uh, things you can do and just kind of giving you a little introduction to Delhi, if you will. For those that have not played Delhi but maybe want to look into Delhi, uh, Delhi is a civilization that is very focused on their scholars, mosques and their upgrades. So. Delhi is the only save that can capture sacred sites in age 2 and they get double gold from capturing it. So other bonuses that they have, and this is also unique to them, infantry units, so this is crossbows, archers, spearmen, men at arms, are, and hand cannoneers, are able to construct palisade walls and if you build a landmark for stone, you can also uh, construct stone walls with uh, Delhi infantry units and you can also create stone wall towers. All technology, yeah, this is a big one. Obviously, this is kind of what makes Delhi Delhi. I feel like all these things make Delhi Delhi, you know, because they're all very unique. Every single technology upgrade for Delhi is free. Uh, it takes longer to uh, upgrade. I think it's like times, I don't know the numbers, but it's something like times 2.5 in feudal, times 5 in castle, and times 10 uh, time in Imperial because they are free and you can also garrison scholars in mosques to increase that speed up Technologies can be paused and resumed. This is very important So if you start an upgrade with any other sieve and you cancel it You gotta restart it from the get-go like from the beginning But with Delhi you can actually stop cancel the upgrade midway to get something else And then you can continue the original upgrade from where it left off um, They have the same bonus like Abbasid Mills constructed near berry bushes increased food capacity by plus 100 per berry. Gather speed is increased 30%, but cannot gather from boar like Abbasid. Uh, berry carry capacity plus three, and then fishing ships can defend themselves with a ranged attack. Which reminds me, I should host a map that has some water on it at least. Let's do let's do water holes because it's a funny map. So let's get started. I'm going to get into uh, the game and I'm going to explain age by age. Uh, a lot of people get confused. When do I get what with Delhi? Which upgrades do I prioritize? Because whenever you finish a building with Delhi, you want to immediately start upgrades in it. So if you age up to feudal, you immediately start all the upgrades that you can. So uh, if you're looking for Delhi build orders, I have released a Delhi season four guide, which is right now. Uh, depending when you watch this video, there might be a you know more updated guy. So, first things first. If you look, there's an influence radius from the TC. This influence radius affects your upgrade research time. So, um, Abbasid has something similar. So I'll explain how it works for Delhi. So you can see right here, if I try to you know build a building you can see that neither of these buildings are in radius of one another and even if they were there it's still white why is it white because there is no mosque which is what reduces your research times so forestry now takes one minute and 15 seconds to make so whenever you build mosques with delhi you want to place it so it it connects as many buildings as possible but in dark age you want to make sure that mill is connected because of the wheelbarrow upgrade which is very important so we're gonna build this right now and you will see that right now forestry is 2 minutes and 15 seconds so if I were to start this and the mosque finishes it will automatically reduce the research time 2.15 and now it's 1.59 why? because mosque if you have scholars inside it reduces research time now if I take out the scholar even though the lumber camp is in the influence as you can see there's no scholars to reduce the research time so it will still remain 215. if i were to start a research and then i put a scholar inside it will automatically reduce to uh 159. and like i said whenever you build a mill at the start of the game you instantly queue up wheelbarrow it takes four minutes to complete but it's you know it's it's free 
So there's no reason not to get upgrades um, as Delhi. Now, I'm gonna stop this. And this is something, another thing I wanted to show you. This is this thing I mentioned in the lobby. It's 159, but if you look, the progress did not reset like the other sieves. Um, if I continue researching it, it just continues where it left off. So 119, I upgrade, it goes from 119 down. So this is only for Delhi. If you cancel with any other sieve, you will have to reset completely. Now, right now it says 159 for the full research. So you can see if I add another scholar, it's 146. I add another scholar, 134. If I add another scholar, it's going to be even less and less and less. You get the point. And you can garrison as many scholars as you want, by the way. So right now the research time is 123. Put another one. Boom. 114. So, in general, you can have like five mosques filled with scholars. Obviously, that's a, a little bit too much, maybe. Um, but yeah. Uh, another thing to note, in Dark Age, you do want to build mosque because you can start a research for efficient production, which will allow your scholars to garrison into military buildings and, and boost their production speed by 100%. And you also have uh, access to piety, which is increases the scholars' health by 40%. So we're going to get both of those. And then we're going to build a bunch more scholars. Now, for Feudal Age, you have two options. You have Tower of Victory and you have Dome of the Faith. Tower of Victory uh, basically kind of adds on to this influence that Delhi has. So if I were to put Tower of Victory here, if I put my barracks or archer ranges around it, they will have, all their infantry will have 20% attack speed. But it needs to be connected with those barracks over here in order to get that buff. So you need to make sure that Tower of Victory is connected to your main mosque line if that's where your production buildings are. So if I, if I were to build a mosque here, um, let, let's just do it, fuck it. Um, if I build production buildings here, you can see they're not in the influence radius. So these ones are not going to get the buff, which is very, very important. The other landmark, Dome of the Faith, is... So Tower of Victory is a landmark that you make when you want to fight, in feudal a lot or you want to focus on infantry a lot on the other side dome of the faith uh produces scholars at a 50 percent uh cost so it's 50 percent cheaper uh but it's also 50 percent slower production and dome of the faith is usually used when you want to kind of put some pressure on the map and rush into the castle so the reason why i'm going for this one is so i can show you how the influence tower victory goes because the other one is just a mosque that produces them cheaper basically so now that we reach feudal we're gonna build stables and we're gonna build archer ranges so at this point you would have like you would have maybe let's say this is like you know we're a little bit into the feudal you will usually have three scholars you're not gonna have 13 scholars this early on once you age up, you can see all the upgrades that you have, like new ones, like Specialized Pick or Horticulture or whatever, you just insta start it. There's no reason not to. So the moment you age up, you click Double Broadax, you click Specialized Pick, and then you're gonna click Horticulture and Pro Scouts, because why not? Same thing for Mosque. If your upgrades are completed, you instantly wanna click the other two upgrades. If you have one mosque, then you do it in the same one. If you have multiple mosques, you can take one upgrade in this one, one upgrade in that one. Oh. Regarding production buildings, um, you don't necessarily want to start up your military upgrades immediately. For example, this one. Because it takes 36 seconds, and sometimes you might need to get out Spearman first, right? So even though it's free, if you're not producing Spearman, you should research it. But if you are producing Spearman, have in mind that the upgrade does take a bit to research. Especially the moment you hit Feudal, you would have one Scholar inside, right? It's going to take 46 seconds to, to complete. So that's quite a bit of time. But just like I mentioned earlier, because we researched that thing that speeds up the production. If you put the Scholar inside, it will boost the production by 100%. So this upgrade will now be 23 seconds. And because it's an upgrade, if we add more scholars in the mosque, it will further reduce the cooldown now to 18 seconds. So again, if we had a crap ton of scholars, five seconds, boom, and it's done. 
so you can see the the importance of having scholars and upgrading but again you don't want to there's a fine line with delhi and you can see some of that when you watch high level players play you don't want to have all your scholars in the mosques because they also make for great fighting units because they heal so you also want to have them with your army but you do want to have some in mosque to reduce the research time now if you look they also reduce the, the you know production time of the building so a normal spearman takes 15 seconds to create a barracks that has scholar inside only takes seven seconds for spearman to create now i want to just remind you guys that mosques and research time reduction from scholars only influences research so if i put more scholars now spearman will still be seven seconds but if you put a scholar in the barracks or the stables or the archer range it will reduce the research time by 100 percent and the build time per units 100 percent so that's something important to to know now next thing blacksmith upgrades same thing uh with delhi delhi is the only sieve where you want to build two blacksmiths um you can go for more but that's maybe a bit too greedy and i think one is maybe too too little and it's going to take so long to get your upgrades so whenever you play Delhi, you select both blacksmiths. If you are going for archers and you think opponent will go archers, then go like this. And each blacksmith will take one upgrade. And then just get blue marine fitted leather work and then just siege engineer. So one great thing about Delhi that a lot of people that play it like, you don't have to think when to get upgrades, right? You don't have to think like, oh, I have this many resources. Do I make units or do I make upgrades? You just upgrade everything okay you just get everything and um you don't got to worry about it so delhi is very much focused on scholars research times and just spamming a lot a lot of units yeah and also if you you know perhaps want a different upgrade you can always like cancel an upgrade and then start a new upgrade and then continue the one after so you just queue them up in whichever order you want uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, Delhi trade is completely normal. Delhi, like extra TCs, completely normal. There's nothing weird there. Um, I'm going to build Delhi towers here. Because why not? Uh, yeah, their traders are just normal traders. Nothing. They don't have any bonuses for it. And one more thing I forgot to add. Textiles is also free. So textiles is the upgrade that gives your villager 25 health. This is also free and um, obviously it's going to take uh if you have no scholars it's going to take 25 seconds to complete so a bit more than you know your villager production time so if you're playing against like if you're new to the game and if you're playing against more aggressive sieves i would probably suggest getting textiles because if it saves one villager it paid off uh, the only downside to getting this upgrade immediately when you drop the feudal is you could be making another villager so yeah, regarding uh, Delhi ships, by the way, uh, they have the same ships like everyone else in the, the water rework. I'm going to make some fishing ships so you guys can see how those work. But until those are done, we can actually age up. And so I can show you guys some of the other stuff. This is Delhi Towers. They look pretty nice. Very nice. Age 3 landmarks. You can see the upgrades are still researching, by the way. Well, the first set finished. The other one is going right now. And that's with five scholars inside, which is quite a lot. Um, H3 landmarks are House of Learning and Compound of the Defender. House of Learning, uh, like it says, it has no immediate immediate bonuses other than advancing to the next age, but contains many unique economic and religious technology. Funnily enough, Compound of the Defender recently was changed and is now very similar to that. But it also reduces the stone cost of buildings and their emplacements by 25%. So the TCs um, are going to be 25% cheaper is in stone. The keeps, the, the stone walls, stone wall towers, and upgrades in your towers will also be 25% cheaper. The stone part. So House of Learning is more focused on like overall gameplay, I would say and it the main upgrade in house of learning is an upgrade for men at arms and knights that gives them plus three damage so if you are playing you know heavily focused on men at arms or knights i would probably suggest go for that but in general if you don't do that compound defender usually is a lot better and again 
if you don't build it in the influence, it will not have its research times reduced. So I'm going to build it right here. Uh, so another thing, you can see that the docs, also, they also have researchers, right? So they also need to be in the influence of a mosque to have their research times reduced. So technically you could build a mosque like this. If your base is close by, like if your TC here, you can build a mosque like this. Um, you can build a TC, uh, or if your TC is here, you build a mosque here, so you connect your docks with your main stuff. Do 38. So this is what we call Wi-Fi, okay? So this is how Delhi works, and I'm assuming the Tower Victory thing does make sense. But this is how it works. So these three docks are connected through Wi-Fi, okay? Because the main internet line is right here. So if you look, the research time for extended lines is 238. But if I put my scholars here on the mainland, the research time of the uh, upgrade still gets reduced all the way here, even though I didn't put it in this mosque. If I put it in this mosque, all my research time times in any building that is connected within the influence is going to be also reduced. So that's something important to know. Now there's this upgrade and this is a unique upgrade to Delhi. So let's cover the, the water stuff now. If you upgrade this, which is obviously free, scholars can be garrisoned in docks and they basically, they act as mosques, okay? So now, even if you didn't have this mosque, if I put scholars inside, they will also reduce research times, not only here, but in all, uh, all your areas. Even though it doesn't show like it's not connected to anything and it's white so it's kind of weird it doesn't spread the influence of the mosque but it does reduce the research times now you can put three scholars in docks because they're production buildings it also reduces the production of your ships because they are you know this counts as a military building right so fishing ship takes 25 seconds to uh produce in this dock, because there's three scholars, it only takes 11 seconds to produce, and it also reduces the production time of every single ship. So, this is something that you can do to power up your docks and produce, um, what's it called? Produce uh, ships faster, or you can just put them into, you know, upgrade, or whatever else. Now, what else? Uh, all the upgrades for Delhi, like I said, are uh, free. So same thing like land. If you age up and you're not using docks, you can just queue up all the upgrades. Mind you, they will take like 2.30, 3 minutes to, to upgrade. So if you do queue up, you will not be able to use this for a while. So be very, very careful. Now, uh, Delhi fishing ships are right here. This is the Delhi Spring Old Ship, Bagla, this is the Explosive, and this is Doe. It looks very similar to fishing ships, except it's a little bit bigger. And Delhi fishing ships are the only ships in game for fishing that can actually shoot. So they do 7 damage, uh, and they got plus 1 blacksmith upgrade, so they got 8. And they got 50% more health, which was changed recently uh, in one of the patches. So they have 188 health, which is 50% higher than any other um, gathering ship uh, in the game. So you can't really use these to go around and fight. Like you're not going to be killing Springle ships with these, but they can help if your dog is getting attacked. You know, you can shoot at the spearmen or the men-at-arms or something like that, or maybe give a little bit of extra power on water, but you're not going to mass these and, and go across the map and kill your opponent with fishing ships and stuff like that. So... Uh, yeah. Now, as those upgrades are going, um, let's move on to the next thing. So, we have just aged up, and Compounded Defender has three keep upgrades, the same upgrades you have in a keep for Delhi, which is boiling oil. You have Cord Architect, which increases the health of all buildings by 30%. Uh, which is uh, technology actually in university, I think. And then you have a unique Delhi upgrade, which is slow burning defenses, increases the fire armor of Stonewall Towers, keeps, and outposts by 10. So obviously, if you get this, your keeps are going to be pretty, or towers in general, are going to be pretty tanky to torch damage. Uh, it's a nice upgrade, but it's not something you want to rush. Now, this upgrade is the most important one. It's one of the most important um 
upgrades that Delhi has received in the recent patch or, or buffs, sorry. And that is Village Fortresses. Keeps now act like town centers, increasing, incre including unit production, uh, population capacity, and technology. So the moment you age up with Compounded Defender, you want to queue up in this order. So uh, Z, A, S, and X. And just like with anything else, just like in age 2, the moment you age up to age 3, what you want to do is get Herbal Medicine, get Swiftness. I should have probably gone through those upgrades, by the way. One of the upgrades, uh, I completely forgot about that, sorry. So the first upgrade here in Dark Age produce, increases the production speed by 100% and allows you to put scholars in military buildings. The second one increases your health of scholars by 40. Once you get to Feudal, you get two more upgrades for Delhi. One allows you, one is called Sanctity and it allows you to capture sacred sites in Feudal Age, which is very important. And remember, you get double gold from sacred sites as Delhi. And this upgrade gives you, I think, 100% extra vision on your scholars, which I can't even show you because the map is revealed. And now when we reach Castle, we got two more upgrades, which is Herbal Medicine, increases the healing rate of scholars by 60%. And Swiftness, which increases the movement speed of scholars by 50%. So they're basically cars. The moment you age up, let's say I just age up to Castle. We queue up these, we queue up uh mosque upgrades we queue up again the fertilization which is the food upgrade the lumber upgrade the mining upgrade and then you go to your blacksmiths and same thing if you're fighting with a lot of archers you get this first if you're fighting a lot of, uh, against a lot of archers you get this and then you just get the rest this is another unique upgrade for delhi called forced march and it's actually quite good uh, infantry gains a force march ability when activated infantry move 100% faster for 10 seconds but break when dealing damage so if you activate it you can run even if your opponent is attacking you but the moment you attack the buff goes away so that's something to uh, to be careful so uh, siege workshop exactly the same you know you have your siege right here if I would put a scholar their production tie would be half, so Springle will be making in 15 seconds. And you also have your upgrades that are completely free, take 136 to complete with 10 scholars. So if I were to put another scholar, that's going to get further reduced. 48 seconds, and then Springle, and everything else is half time. Battering rams every 15 seconds. And by the way, you can see when you have a scholar inside with this one out of one thing above it now one thing i wanted to show you guys now that we have built the keeps and the research has completed as well um i want to show you something one keep is an influence and one keep is not okay so why why am i showing you this because emplacements are not upgrades they they are they are but they're not they're not research upgrades they're just upgrades so Springled emplacement for the keep that is not an influence is 30 seconds. Springled emplacement for a keep that it is an influence is also 30 seconds. If we were getting upgrades here, like boiling oil, for example. If we were getting boiling oil, you can see it's 224 in this one. And in this one, it's 730. So you can see the difference of having 10 scholars and having zero scholar makes in research times. So, but the sprinkle placements, they're weapon emplacements, so they're not, you don't, you don't get reduced time for them, is what I'm trying to say. Now, um, what else? One thing to be worried about is, um, let's say you have three scholars in your normal game. You would usually have three to five scholars in Mosque. Um, for Feudal, I would say... Again, check out the guides that I made. I go more about talking about it in Feudal. But in Castle, I would say you want at least three to five scholars so you can actually get your upgrades. Now, with having three scholars in my mosque, if I take a look... I don't have any here, right? Okay, I don't. I took them out. If you look at the upgrades, and this is why I said you have to be very careful when putting... Uh, uh, when upgrading stuff in your production buildings because right now this takes 3 minutes and 25, 29 seconds to research. So sometimes people make this mistake of they have two barracks only let's say an opponent is attacking them and they go like this and they queue up they, they queue up the upgrade and then they queue up a bunch of units 
and you die with a lot of resources. Why? Well, because one of the barracks is completely consumed by this upgrade and you just queued up all the spearmen in the other one. So this is something that you need to be very, very careful about and you need to try to put Scholar in the barracks that is researching because it will reduce the research time by half, which is quite an insane amount. This happened to me yesterday. Yeah, so this is something a lot of people make the mistake of. You need to try to put the scholar in the barracks or arch range or stables where it is researching. If we look at veteran horsemen, three minutes and 30 seconds. That's a lot of time and it clogs up your production buildings quite a bit. So let's get all these researches. I'm gonna put one scholar in each so they speed up. Actually, I'm gonna fill these up so we can make a bunch of units. And another thing that I wanted to show you, that I almost forgot, is your units. If you look, these are three spearmen. We can build walls with them. So that's one un another unique thing about Delhi. And the reason why they can do this and the reason why this is good is when you capture sacred site in feudal H, you can wall off the sacred sites so that opponent needs to break the walls in order to decap them and it makes it easier for you to defend them. So whenever you capture sacred site in feudal with Delhi, you can wall it off and make it a little bit more secure so your opponent doesn't just stand on the sacred site and recap it immediately. Now, because we went compounder to defender in H3, not only your units can make palisade walls, but your units can also create stone walls. So you can see these are men at arm, these are crossbows, you can send them to build gates um, and to just build stone walls in general. Now one thing that people get confused, uh, infantry can also build stone wall towers. A lot of people think that I'm talking about outposts being upgraded to like with stone or something. Stone wall towers are these towers that you can put on the walls. Those are stone wall towers. And infantry from Delhi can also uh, create those. We have Force March finished actually. Let me show you what it does. So Force March is the thing that increases your movement speed. So if I activate it, you can see they're fucking bolting, dude. Look at that. Sheesh. Look at that. So this is a great way to actually kill enemy siege. You can um, activate Force March with your men-at-arms and you can just run past their army and kill their siege. You can do cool stuff like that. Now, what else is there? Right, so that upgrade that I talked about in Compounded Defender allows your keeps to act as town centers. So I want to give you guys a little, little tip right here for how to manage this. So if you look, I selected both keeps and now you have to either click here or select Y and then build villages with Q. But if you hotkey your keeps with your TCs, so if you look, I have my two TCs here and keeps. If I just click Q, it will also Q from the keeps, which is very nice. So you don't need to keep you don't need to keep your keeps in a separate hotkey. Okay, you can just hotkey them with your town centers, and whenever you make villagers, it will also make villagers from the keeps. So. Elefantos. These are the unique units of Delhi Sultanate. Now these bad boys got a buff. They used to cost 1000 resources. Now they cost 400 wood, 350 gold. And you might be like, holy shit, that's expensive. It's, it's like a cost of three knights. But they are very, very strong. They do get countered somewhat by crossbows. And they do get hard countered by spearmen but they do crazy crazy amount of damage so these war elephants the melee elephants you definitely want to be making against cavalry and then you can use like you can make archers in order to kill crossbows and spearmen that's a good unit comp if you're going for tower elephants which are the ranged elephants and they can shoot while moving you should probably have some like a uh, front line like men at arms or spearmen to kind of tank for them while they do their damage so Elephants are very nice. They do a lot of damage. Tower elephants are a lot more expensive though. They're 400 uh, food, 600 gold, which is a uh, monka. So try not to lose your elephants is all I'm going to say. 
Now, age four for Delhi. There's two options. Surprise, just like every age. There's one that sucks, and there's the other one that doesn't suck. Uh, History Academy sucks. So History Academy acts as madrasa, which is university for Delhi, and it gathers 12 food per minute based on the number of the technologies researched. Does not imply to emplacements. Now, this might sound good if it was like gold, but the fact that it's the fact that it's food, like food is the resource that you need the least in the late game because you can just build farms. So it just doesn't make it that great of a landmark. This one, on the other hand, god damn. And this is uh, another landmark that has received a buff recently. So what this landmark does, Palace of the Sultan, automatically produces Sultan's elite tower elephants and you can garrison up to four scholars in the landmark to increase the production speed. So. If we take four scholars, again, this is a production building, so not research. It's going to be producing these elephants, and it takes three minutes and 20 seconds to produce. If you put four scholars, you get that number down to one, I think it's 130 or 135, something like that. So every one minute and 30, you're gonna get an elephant out of this. Now, you might be like, that's not a very good deal. Well, these elephants are actually elephants that have hand cannoneers um, on them. So these elephants you cannot produce in your archer ranges. You cannot produce it anywhere. The only way to get elephants with hand cannoneers on top of them is through this landmark, which makes this landmark a lot better than the other one. For now, by the way, uh, all these landmark things that I'm talking about, they might be changed in the future. But as of right now, in March 2023, that's how it is. So, let's move on to the next thing. Again, you hit Imperial. The first thing you want to do is you want to queue up your upgrades. Get your Eco upgrades first. So, get the last one. And look at the upgrade times, by the way. Look at the Imperial times. 10 minutes and 28 seconds. And this is with three scholars in mosques. So, remember I told you in Feudal, you do want to have... Uh, scholars in mosques, but you will be fighting with them most of the time. In castle, you want to have three to five scholars in your mosques. In imperial, you actually want to move your mosques, move your scholars from the army and put as many as you can uh, inside of your uh, mosques. You don't want to use them with army anymore because you need to get that research time down. Ten minutes is always a fuck ton of time. Now, for the people that are going to say like, oh, this sucks, it's 10 minutes. I want to remind you that these upgrades are 800 resources each. So just me by clicking this, clicking uh, cross, th th whatever, wood upgrade and food upgrade. That is 800 resources per upgrade. So I just received 2.4K resources, which is 1.5K gold. And the only thing I got to do is wait, right? And that's kind of what, what Delhi is about. So this upgrade right now is, let's say, nine minutes to go. If I put more scholars inside, the upgrade time will get reduced to 343. Not that bad, right? So having 10 to 15 scholars in your mosques is kind of what you want to have in Imperial so that your upgrades kind of finish in time. So at first, this might seem like a very big weakness for Delhi. But a lot of people don't realize that your opponent will get one or two upgrades when they age up in Imperial. You're going to get three eco upgrades immediately. Then you can get your mosque upgrades. Then you can get your military units upgrades. So you're basically going to be queuing up like over 12 or 13,000 resources worth of upgrades with Delhi and Imperial for free. And the only thing you have to do is not die. So the researchers come online and while your opponent is spending resources on, on research, uh, research, right, for economy or whatever else, you can just make pure units. So same thing, we start those researches, then we're going to start the blacksmith ones. Um, you can, you know, if, if you want, you can upgrade some of the, the siege ones. I would probably not suggest doing this because this is going to make your siege workshop inactive for like 10 minutes. But if you have a lot of, um, you know, spring alts, go with this one if you have a lot of mangroves go with this one so on and so forth you can always build more siege workshops 
let me explain the mosque the two new mosque upgrades one is uh tithe barns which is what every sieve has a relics placed in moss provide an income of plus 30 30 30 uh every minute per relic and the second one is zeal which is not used too too often because your scholars are going to have a hard time surviving in the late game but basically units healed by scholars gain 50 percent attack speed for three seconds so you're not going to be able to buff your whole army with this but a unit that gets healed will have the attack speed increased now uh let me see what else we got uh we got two elephants are out so that's very nice we got university which is an influence zone of its own and uh this is madrasa which is like i said university for delhi so we're gonna build you want at least three of these okay and you might be like why do i want three Every other sieve gets one. Why do I need three? Well, well, Billy, sit down right here. If I were to take out all the scholars from mosques, well, let me start these. <clears throat> the upgrades take 18 minutes to complete. And again, these upgrades are 1,000 resources each. So this is 5,000, just queuing these up, 5,000. So they go from 18 minutes, and then if I put these bad boys inside, it goes down to 513. I actually wanna see something. If I put five, that's 958, okay. If I put five in here, is it the same amount? I actually don't know. 958 okay so another thing is you can put your scholars like you're not gonna have five mosques usually right so if you have two mosques you can fill them up right in order to reduce the research time with these but if you don't have any more mosques and you're building universities anyway you can just put them inside of university and it will also reduce the research time um and obviously the research time is reduced in all three of these so the reason why you build three uh, at least I like to build three is because you, you can get like three upgrades at the same time and then just queue up the other two to upgrade you know after that so um, what else is there left to talk about let's build a wonder because we always build a wonder so why not um, oh right I forgot military upgrades same deal guys um, if you get military upgrades, look at this. Without scholar inside, it's four minutes. So make sure you have a scholar whenever you're researching military upgrades. Regarding Delhi upgrades, um, they're pretty normal, except the obviously the elephant ones, which are unique. So the upgrades that you get in Imperial for elephants is grants 25% health and four range armor to war elephants, which are these. We're gonna get that. And then an archery range has an upgrade, how does, which basically these are archers right now. If you upgrade this, they're gonna get 30% health, four ranged armor, and they will have crossbows on top of them. So once tower elephants are actually fully upgraded, they will have 14 ranged armor. Which is a lot of armor. So you kind of need spearmen to deal with them. Meanwhile, uh, war elephants, um, they also get full range armor, but they're gonna have, they're gonna go from eight armor to 12 armor against range. So TLDR, you don't want to build, be building archers uh, against these elephants. You kind of need, uh, need spears. The spears is uh, the one to go for. And last but not least, we save the best for last. We got Sultan's Tower, Elephants, and uh, they got their, their siege damage. So Elephants, for those that don't know, act like rams. So with Delhi, you don't really need to build rams you can, if you can build Elephants, because they act like siege, and they do siege damage to buildings. And as you can see, there are hand cannon weapons on them, and these guys melt everything in front of them. They literally kill everything.
they kill knights, they kill other elephants, they kill horsemen, they kill everything. And they can destroy buildings. So even though, you know, you can get them only once every 90 seconds, but if you don't lose this and potentially you get to like 20 of these, you're going to melt everything in their path. Um, and they also do melee damage still. Even though you have maybe archers on top or hand cannoneers, the elephant will still hit with their tusks. So, yeah. And yeah, hand cannoneers on top of the elephants will get bonus damage from um, this upgrade. What is it called? Chemistry. Increases the damage of gunpowder units. And this is the uh, the Delhi landmark. Great Palace of Agra. Amazing. Amazing. Oh yeah, and because I built this landmark, Compound of the Defender, that reduces the cost, stone cost of buildings. If you look, every other Civ's keeps are 800 stone, Delhi keeps are 600 stone. And also the walls are cheaper as well, as well as the gate that's 37 stone. So that's something to note. And stone wall towers are cheaper as well. Um, give me a sec, let me just build this real quick. Team placements also. So anything that costs stone gets reduced in cost. So in placement, sprinkled in placement is usually 125 stone with any sieve, with Delhi it's 93 with this landmark, and cannon emplacement is usually 300, 25% off is 225. Same thing, if you want to upgrade your outposts, if you look, 45 outposts is 75, arrow slits is 37, sprinkle emplacement is 93, and cannon emplacement is 225. Amazing, it's a great landmark, it's, it's one of the greatest landmarks. And, if you're a nomad FFA enjoyer like myself, your wonder, I don't know if you guys can see from the camera, but your wonder costs four and a half thousand stone and not six thousand. That's a big one. That's a big one. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Delhi, that is everything you need to know about Delhi. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, if you're controlling a Delhi army, you don't need to put scholars in a different control group. If you just A move, which is click A on your keyboard and then attack. The Delhi uh, scholars or any scho any healers in the game, the moment there's the units damage, they will immediately start healing. So you don't need to keep them in a separate you know, group or whatever else. So yeah, if everything is healed though, they will, uh, they will just keep moving because they don't have an attack, right? So if you A move on buildings, let's, let's say there's buildings here, there's nothing doing damage. And if you aim move here, and your units are attacking here, the scholars will just do this. Whee! And look at them, with the upgrade, look at them, they're fucking bolting. Let's do a little race actually. Let's do a little race, you guys ready? Actually, let's do it like this. Three, two, one. Yo! Oh, wait. Oh, the men at arms are faster. They're creating distance. God damn. Amazing. Amazing. That will be it. That is everything you need to know about Delhi. I hope. It helped you guys. I hope you learn more about Delhi and hopefully Delhi gets more love on the ladder. Not many people play it. I think it's one of the least played civs, but I think it's one of the strongest civs right now. So go out there, try Delhi. It's amazing. And now you know everything you need to know about it. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going baby